For a while now, Intel has been the sick man of the tech industry, and the recent announcement of a collaboration with Nvidia brought a lot of excitement, but also a lot of questions. Like, who's gonna benefit more from this, and what about Intel graphics? After all, what incentive would literally anyone have to go with Intel's own graphics when Nvidia's graphics will be available in Intel products? Well, we've managed to get some more information once the dust from the explosion of that announcement has settled, and the big Q&A session between Jensen and Lip Bhutan has revealed a few more details, starting off with probably the biggest question we all had, what's gonna happen to Intel Arc? Well, it's been confirmed that Intel Arc and Intel Graphics, well, they aren't going anywhere. Instead, those products will be complementary to the NVIDIA provided ones. And while we can actually expect dedicated Intel graphics cards to continue, it's gonna be kind of awkward, right, when NVIDIA and Intel are working together, but are also still kind of you know, bloodily fighting each other over GPU market share. But on the integrated side of things, well, I can't imagine too many people will be that excited about getting integrated Intel graphics when an NVIDIA option is available. Another thing to keep in mind is that they only really talked about this for laptops, not really talk about any other consumer products that could make use of this kind of partnership. Like, for example, integrating Intel cores into, say, the Tegra chipset for things like a future Switch 3, so that it could use x86 rather than ARM cores. But now onto what is probably the best part of that Q&A, the issue of Intel foundries. There were a lot of questions from a lot of people about if Nvidia are going to utilize Intel's own foundry in this deal, and every single time Jensen just had to find ways to gently break the news that Intel Foundry is just not competitive enough with TSMC, and you can almost see Lip Bhutan's heart break every single time. Regardless, while there's still very much some questions and concerns that need to be ironed out, this $5 billion stock investment and the opportunities of selling all of these CPUs over to Intel, not to mention the market advantage over AMD of having integrated products with NVIDIA GPU cores inside of them, is going to be a huge and much needed opportunity for a struggling Intel right now, but is this going to be enough? And what do you think the future will be for Intel with this deal? Well, let me know down in the comments below. Where you're also going to find a Patreon, because even a single dollar a month truly goes a long way. Plus, huge thanks to Gavin Burns, Justin Rage, Ella Vronyak, Balash Roka, Badak Harrison, and the pseudonym Meg Sumner and Shane Allcroft. But anyway, that's it. It's so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.